In this video I used some old bicycle cogs and bamboo chopping boards to create a sunglasses holder for my brother cycling glasses. Serious cyclists apparently have at least three pairs. I marked out the shapes I wanted to create on the boards. Then I sprayed up one of the old bicycle cogs and experimented with some designs for decoration. My bandsaw really isn't the best, but it worked really well to cut out the bamboo shapes that I'd drawn. The record power bench sander is fantastic, but I don't have any dust or chip extraction vacuums, so I can't use it in the workshop. I had to carry it outside and it's super heavy, but well worth the struggle to sand my board down to the final shapes. Here I'm using my tiny evolution saw to cut out what will form the mini shelves. The shelves were slightly wider than the saw can manage so I tidied up the edges with a tiny block plane. Once rounded over the shelves were simply ready to mask up and paint. Here I'm routing out the shelf dados with my Katsu trim router using a clamp straight edge to help me keep the line. I was really pleased with how sharply this little router cut the three dados. As you know bamboo boards are made up of strips of wood. Some of the strips were damaged when I was using the bandsaw. This plastic wood filler from Rustings was really good at filling the holes and after only a tiny amount of hand sanding the edges were as good as new and ready to mask off and paint. To help the shelf stay in place I simply run a line of glue along each of the three dados. I then slotted the shelves in place and secured them with a weight until the glue dried. I don't have any welding experience or equipment, but Peter Baker from Instagram very kindly recommended a metal putty called Quick Steel. I rolled up the steel into sausages, just like Play-Doh, and pushed the putty around the rim of each cog. I then pressed them all together and added a weight. Within an hour the cogs were fully bonded. I then mixed up some really stinky arrow dye and bonded the cogs to the boards. It might stink but it's a fantastically good glue. With the project basically finished I applied some boiled linseed oil and left it to soak into the bamboo overnight. I really enjoyed making this and getting to grips with using some of the new tools which are entirely unfamiliar to me. Thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe for more videos. I've put some links in the description for the products I've highlighted. See you again soon.